chance to present the uh, COVID-19 management protocol we are following in Kerala. Uh, I respected Patajal sir, the chair, Dr. Regu sir, Dr. Tanuja madam, Dr. Jain sir, Harindra Nair sir, and uh, uh, dis uh, respected dignitaries here. And I like I am directly going to my paper, Ayurvedic response to COVID-19 in Kerala. So in my paper, I will go through Ayurveda and COVID-19, state Ayurveda COVID-19 response uh, projects, implementation strategy, management of COVID-19 followed in Kerala, our outcome, and we'll go for the discussion. We all know worldwide community is facing an unprecedented pandemic of novel coronavirus caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome <laughs> coronavirus since December 2019. The disease has spread globally with more than one, 119 million confirmed cases and 2.63 million deaths as of history. The dimensions of pandemic require hardness of all knowledge systems available globally. We know that in China, traditional Chinese medicine was integrated in the protocol for clinical management of COVID-19. Being home to the tradition of Ayurveda with an unbroken evolutionary history of several thousands of years in the Indian subcontinent, it is most appropriate that Kerala should launch the preventive and management program in traditional medicine for COVID-19 in the world along with the strategies for prevention and mitigation of the disease. In this scenario, there is a window of opportunity for the clinical management of persons exposed to coronavirus as well as patients with uncomplicated symptoms. Rehabilitation of COVID-19 patients in the stage of convalescence is another important area which can be satisfactorily addressed by the use of Ayurvedic medicine. For the execution of this program, as Dr. Jain uh, early said, we had a state Ayurveda COVID-19 response cell, regional cell, a district cell, and at the ground level, Ayurveda clinics. Uh, I'm going through the, uh, just through the slides, that uh, state level, it was implemented uh, for the scientific implementation, framing up, uh, the appropriate work plan, defining functionalities, then linking the Ayurvedic system with the public health mechanism. This was the main aim for the state level Ayurveda COVID cell. And regionally, uh, it was uh, under the three government Ayurveda colleges at Trivandrum, Kannur, and Ernagulam. And at district level, uh, the charting of the appropriate preventive therapeutic options regionally and an administrative collaboration with the concerned government departments in each panchayat or a, a municipality. The direct link of the cell with the public health mechanism was done through this uh, DACRC. And as you all know, there are Ayurveda clinics, AAC. It's a basic implementation unit uh, that is a grassroots level implementation in tandem with uh, private practitioners, LSDD, public health mechanism, and the professional organization like Ayurveda Medical Association, etc. And we had the virtual platform, uh, Niramaya, uh, for the uh, continuous supporting of the patient for uh, psychological support, healthcare advisors, etc. So uh, I will first explain the district level implementation, what we have done at the code code district. Uh, we know uh, uh, we have a district type with the code response cell. First of all, in the early February, when the case was reported in Kerala itself, we, uh, as a uh, surveillance program was chartered in the Kerala, preventive medicines were given to high risk groups and also to the public who are prone to more uh, COVID cases and uh, implementation of projects was, uh, of uh, uh, this uh, state aid by the COVID cell, uh, which were explained earlier, were implemented from April onwards. At that time, we uh, uh, opened the teleconsultation units because uh, we have a lockdown at that time. And so people were not able to come to the doctors. So the teleconsultation units and telecounseling units were opened at, at each and every blocks of uh, uh, Panjayat level and also municipality level. Ayurveda task force. It was a great, uh, great uh, thought that uh, this, uh, this uh, decision makers, along with the medical officer and the private doctors and the students of the uh, with, uh, various Ayurveda colleges, united to form the Ayurveda task force. They worked at the ground level for the proper implementation of our projects. 
and zonal task force was formed at the 14 in Kodiko district we had 14 uh, task force uh, in under this task force we will giving we will give around five to six institutions and these institutions will uh, correctly work upon their uh, zonal task force convenience guidance and also they will be give, uh, giving instructions what is given from the state to the uh, district and district will be converted to the each ayurveda uh, uh, this is uh, units uh, through I actually units through this zonal task force and different training sections uh, it was a need of that hour so training, uh, periodical training was also arranged for all staff and all medical officers and students so coming to the projects uh, you all, uh, you heard about our project swasya sugaishi and all around uh, 5 lakh 84000 people have taken swasya till date sugaishi we have covered around uh, 4, 4 lakh 13705 patients for, in amritam we have 4 lakh 95106 cases till date and coming punarjani we are approaching 1 lakh cases and coming to the patient it's the main topic i have to present that is the management of covid 19 so it's an integrated health system model. We can say it's a unique one. Patient can choose the Ayurvedic medication under Beshajam or the conventional treatment. He has the power to choose what he wants. That is a Beshajam treatment or conventional treatment he can opt. Kerala government especially released orders for treating COVID-19 and uh, at each uh, Ayurveda clinics uh, under state Ayurveda COVID responsible. And implementation strategy was also designed with a particular SOP for uh, all factors uh, for efficacy of this project implementation at grassroots level. So the government uh, orders came in 18-11-2020. Uh, we also referred the uh, national clinical management protocol uh, the, that is based on yoga and Ayurveda. This was also incorporated along with our uh, treatment protocols. So as we all know, the guidelines for the implementation and intervention, we all know that a factor that is a patient tested positive for COVID-19 is selected for our treatment with no or mild symptoms or uncomplicated categories. So that is category A is given by Shijam medications. Properly informed consent is also obtained from each patient. Beshajam implementation is done through Ayraksha clinics. It's a, and a separate case sheet and a register for same shall is maintained in every Ayraksha clinic. So it's for the proper documentation works. It's uploaded daily in a Google sheet and the data work is daily done and submitted to higher officials. Medical officers of the concerned Ayraksha clinics is the custodian of all such documents. So this is our detailed uh, COVID-19 case sheet. And we also have a general consent. We know that we cannot uh, cons uh, get the consent of personally uh, when he is infected uh, COVID-19. So um, uh, it's a teleconsultation. Uh, consent is usually taken. <coughs> and the home care asymptomatic category A, uh, we usually give a telephonic follow-up daily. And self-assessment of the symptoms is also done from the patient. And daily pulse oximeter assessment Will be done of the uh, by the patient itself. If it goes worse, any if uh, if he if he have any uh, worse conditions or red flag signs, we will directly shift him to COVID hospitals. So coming to Ayurveda treatment protocol for for the first for asymptomatic COVID nineteen positive cases. For asymptomatic cases, samshamana vadi with people churna. Guluji Jurna with Pipali Churna, Induganda Kashaya, Trifala Churna with a suitable Anuvana, Nisha Churna with milk. These are the common medications used uh, as per the availability of drugs in each Ayraksha clinics. For the mild symptomatic COVID positive cases, we have various formulations listed as uh, 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 various Kalpanas. First of all, going to Kashaya Kalpana. Uh, each kashaya yoga has uh, its own uh, criteria to be given or can be selected as per the condition of the patient or the symptom of the covid patient dashmula kadutraya kashaya patya kustambaradi amrutottaram elakanaadi padavala kadurohinyaadi kashaya draksaadi kashaya barnyaadi kashaya dashmulam kashayam vyakraadi kashayam patya shadangam kashayam Indugandam Kashayam, Nayobayam Kashayam, Nishakadagadi Kashayam, Guluchiadi Kashayam, Shadangam Kashayam. This Guluchiadi Kashayam and Shadangam was also used as Panajala or as uh, uh, Fonda Kashaya. And also along with this uh, uh, protocol, we have uh, given the correct mode of preparation and dose for each adults and also for children. 
it was uh, ad advised kashaya was advised to administer once twice or thrice or six hours or as always uh, as per the condition of the patient uh, the, the rationale of the physician or uh, it was according to the rationale of the physician here uh, he can assess the patient and uh, he can change the dose and all and coming to churna uh, general dose was uh, fixed as 3 to 5 gram and uh, muhu muhu that is as frequently or sos in cases of uh, kasa and shwasa and uh, can uh, can be selected as per the uh, uh, patient's condition also sudarshana churna abaya churna ashwagandha churna guluji churnam thalisa patradi churnam trifala churnam pipali churnam yashti churnam marija churnam trigadu churnam nisha churnam Shangapushpi Churnam, Gokshura Churnam, Sidopaladi Churnam, Dadimashtaga Churnam, Haridragandam, and other suggestions like Churnas of Ajamoda, Chandana, Chitraga, Jiraga, Kandagari, Kushta, Kudaja, Musta, Nagakesara, Prishniparni, Punarnava, Amalagi, Sad, uh, Shadavari, Shundi, Bhaja, etc., are mentioned in this protocol. The patient, uh, by analyzing the symptoms of the patient, we can directly uh, uh, go, uh, said, go and select what all uh, available drugs we can uh, have in our Ayurveda clinic. And also uh, coming to Gudiga, we have selected Bilwadi, Sudarshanam, and Kudajaganavadi. Uh, Vyoshadi Badagam, Gopi Chandanadi Guliga, Dhanundran Guliga, and Chandra Prabha Guliga. Dose may be increased or reduced according to the condition of the patient. General dose, it was 1 to 2 tablets twice or thrice daily. Badaga, 5 to 10 gram daily. And coming to Arishta, uh, only uh, a few Arishtas were selected uh, considering the comorbidities and other factors. Amrud Arishta, Abhay Arishta, Ashwagandha Arishta, and Draksha Arishta were mainly used. As a, in the protocol, general dose was to 25 to 30 ml and reduced to half and children mixed with water. And uh, uh, along with uh, Sarishas, we also have uh, Lekh, uh, Lekhya and Rasayana Kalpanas, the Shamula Rasayana, Agastya Rasayana, Chavana Prasha, Pipali Rasayana, etc. And the general dose of the Leha is 5 to 10 gram twice daily along with warm water and milk. A physician shall take care of the Amavasta, Agnibala, Sharirabala and Tragurdi of the patient and also comorbidities before administrating Rasayana because many uh, majority have some comorbidities in uh, COVID positive cases. Coming to Gruda, Indukanda, Amrita Prasha and the Brihat Chagala Gruda was selected. And the general dose was fixed to 3 to 5 gram and uh, 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 we give to person or a patient only after assessing his uh, Agni and uh, his Bala and uh, Rogavasta. Administrating Gruta preparation versus strictly Patya was also followed uh, in such cases. And as uh, uh, we have opted the central um, uh, national protocol also, yoga protocol from primary interventions of COVID-19 as per national protocol was also followed to improve the respiratory and cardiac efficiency, to reduce stress and anxiety, and to enhance immunity. Loosening practices, uh, standing asanas, sitting asanas, prone lying asanas, supine lying asanas, kriya, pranayama, dhyana, etc. were incorporated. And for COVID-19 patients, uh, and also the same was uh, given for the punarjani cases also, to improve pulmonary function and lung capacity, to reduce stress and anxiety, to improve mucociliary clearance, preparatory practices like Tadasana, Urdha Hastotatana, then shoulder rotation, trunk twisting, Ardha, Ustrasana, Shashankasana, etc. were given, breathing practices, along with the pranayama practices and meditation was also given as a morning session uh, for 30 minutes and the evening session were given for 15 minutes uh, like uh, uh, shavasana abdominal breathing thoracic breathing clavicular breathing then deep breathing and relaxation techniques uh, which was given for 15 minutes coming to the data analysis so uh, uh, the data uh, of the COVID-19 treatment is not yet uh, 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 released by our government part. So I am presenting the data uh, of the Co uh, Kerala, Kerala uh, code code uh, part we have done from here. So uh, till date we have a case of 90,757 90, of, of which home isolation is 19,191 and CFLTC of 566 cases. And coming to the gender, mainly uh, in the early we have seen that ma main, male, male cases were affected, but now we, we know the picture, it's a, a, around 50-50 itself. And coming to age distribution, uh, mainly 25 to 55 age group were coming under our study. And complication, 
uh, 90% uh, we were mainly concentrating in category A, uh, 90% with no complication or uh, rest forms only the 10% with uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome and all. Symptoms uh, mainly of 39% were of the cough and fever, associated loss of smell, uh, loss of taste, a sore throat, and the, uh, the 31 percent patients have running nose, fever, nasal congestion, and the rest of the uh, were uh, coming below 10 percent. In our case, uh, selected uh, patients only uh, some uh, below 10 uh, patients were only wanted the advanced care. Around 95 per percentage of cases were not uh, having advanced care. Coming to the final clinical outcome of the cold uh, chapter was uh, um, around 97 percentage of cases cured clearly. That is asymptomatic around 57 cases, percentage of cases cured completely 37.2 cases and uh, some dropouts were uh, there around 1.9 percentage. 4.65 percent are tested with some sequelae after the uh, COVID negative test and uh, death was uh, there were no death at code code and uh, 0.01 percentage only remained positive on the 10th day. We were ten, uh, taking that sample on the 10th day for uh, COVID negative test. So what, uh, what are challenges we faced in the field was a shortage of the human resource and uh, fund and shortage of medicines due to that uh, lockdown period and uh, some availability of data and technical support were uh, also faced by some of the uh, uh, clinics at uh, rural areas. As a conclusion, I come, uh, uh, want to say that the scientific utilization of Ayurvedic medicine will provide uncomplicated COVID-19 cases with early recovery, will prevent them from developing further complications such as red flag signs, will reduce the case fatality rate of the disease, a well-documented evidence under the SACRC is now available for Ayurvedic COVID management prepared by ISM department. Detailed studies are going on the project data, which will give more ideas for more research activities in future. Thank you. Mm -hmm.